<laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. I need to talk to Holly. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. Have you seen Lily's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? Um, is that stuff supposed to be here, or...? Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Well, the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia. For the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. You sure you don't know where Lily's things are? You should care about this, since it's important to the case. What did I tell you before? I'm sure I don't know. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I wanna clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I wanna help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. I'm running out of time, Gren. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. What more do you want? What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a lowlife. I don't know why I never realized it till now. 
What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh wait, I have questions. What do you want? Tweedledee came in here two nights ago. Why'd you run? I was scared, okay? I didn't want to go down for something I didn't do. I never would have hurt that girl, Bigby. All right. Grin. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. Thanks for the... Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. to the woods, I guess. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much, but a nice girl. Of course I cared. I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. But I still wish you could have been there. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. This whole thing, uh, it's just a job to him. Yeah, I think so too. But, you know. It's not like Keith. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. But, which one? Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Hey, I just wanted to see how it was going. The 
Did you find anything? Just an address book with her contacts initials. Not sure which one is the witch, though. Strange. These people keep cropping up. Before, a few days ago, I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. Any chance you can cross-reference these with the records in the business office? Maybe track her down that way. Yeah, but who knows how long that'll take. You should try going up to Crane's place. I sent Buffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard, you know. Or you could try at the Tweedle's office? Just make it quick. We don't have a lot of time. I'll head over to Tweedledee's place. See what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. In the meantime, I'll see what I can do on this end. Okay. Good luck, Bigby. We'll find him, Snow. I hope you're right.